hey, here's some Christmas physics for you to consider. There are 2 billion children, persons under the age of 18, in the world, but since Santa doesn't appear to handle the Muslim, Hindu, Jewish, and Buddhist children, that reduces the workload to 15% of the total, 378 million, according to the Population Reference Bureau. So at an average census rate of 3.5 children per household, that's 91.8 million homes. One presumes that there's at least one good child in each. Santa has 31 hours of Christmas to work with, thanks to the different time zones and the rotation of the Earth, assuming he travels east to west, which seems logical. This works out to 822.6 visits per second. This is to say that for each Christian household with good children, Santa has one one thousandth of a second to park, hop out of the sleigh, jump down the chimney, fill the stockings, distribute the remaining presents under the tree, eat whatever snacks have been left, get back up the chimney, get back into the sleigh, and move on to the next house. Now, assuming that each of these 91.8 million stops are evenly distributed around the earth, which of course we know to be false, but for the purposes of my calculations, we will accept, we are now talking about 0.78 miles per household, a total trip of 75.5 million miles, not counting stops to do what most of us have to do on long trips, which is go to the bathroom, at least stopping uh, once every 31 hours, plus feeding, etc. This means that Santa sleigh is moving at 650 miles per second, 3,000 times the speed of sound. For purposes of comparison, the fastest man-made vehicle on Earth, the Ulysses Space Probe, moves at a pokey 27.4 miles per second. A conventional reindeer can run tops 15 miles per hour. If every one of the 91.8 million homes with good children would have put out a single cookie, chocolate chip cookie, let's say, and an 8-ounce glass of 2% milk. The total calories, needless to say, other vitamins and minerals, would be approximately 225 calories, 100 for the cookie, give or take, and 125 for the milk, give or take. Multiplying the number of calories per house by the number of homes, 225 times 91.8 times a million, we get the total number of calories Santa consumes at night, which is approximately 20 trillion 655 million calories. To break it down further, one pound is equal to 3,500 calories, dividing our total number of calories by the number of calories in a pound, and we get the number of pounds that Santa gains, 5,901,428.6, which is roughly 2,950.7 tons. The payload of the sleigh adds another interesting element, assuming that each child gets nothing more than a medium-sized Lego set, two pounds. The sleigh is carrying 321,300 tons, not counting Santa, who is invariably described as being overweight. On land, conventional reindeer can pull no more than 300 pounds, even granting that flying reindeer can pull, let's say, 10 times the, to- um, the normal amount. We cannot uh, do the job with eight or even nine. We would need 214,200 reindeer. This increases the payload, not even counting the weight of the sleigh, to 353,430 tons. Again, for comparison, this is four times the weight of the Queen Elizabeth. 350 3,000 tons traveling at 650 miles per second creates enormous air resistance. This will heat the reindeer up in the same fashion as spacecraft re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. The lead pair of reindeer will absorb 14.3 quintillion joules of energy per second each. In short, they will burst into flame almost instantaneously, exposing the reindeer behind them and create deafening sonic booms in their wake. The entire reindeer team will be vaporized within 4.26 thousandths of a second. Santa, meanwhile, will be subjected to centrifugal forces 17,500.06 times greater than gravity. A 250-pound Santa, which seems ludicrously slim, slim, excuse me, would be pinned to the back of his sleigh by 4,315,015 pounds of force. In conclusion, if Santa ever did deliver presents on Christmas Eve, he's dead now. <sighs> Stimulated Boredom is an internet talk show and podcast that discusses news, politics, history, science, music, movies, opinion, and, evidently, whether or not Santa Claus exists, thereby destroying the hopes and dreams of children all over the world. If you are a child and you stumbled across this video, I am kidding. Santa exists. And the Easter Bunny. Hell, why not unicorns while we're at it? You should have a talk with your parents. StimulatedBoredom.com You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. Oh.